beyond the scale, non-scale wins. What's up everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. Oftentimes we get so fixated on one thing that we forget about enjoying the journey and we forget about what we're doing is investing in a better version of ourselves. And so today I wanna to talk to you about other ways that you can determine if you're successful in what you're doing. Now the first and foremost, I love photos because I know most of us hate taking photos, especially when we don't feel ultra fit. But sometimes, and most times, when we jump on the scale, it's not reflecting the changes. So when you put a photo side by side, just yesterday I was took a snapshot of a girl that was flexing in a photo that we take at Fit Club. And at that time, she actually felt like she was pretty in shape, like she was pretty lean. And as such, she was at the front of the photo flexing. I took a screenshot of this photo, sent it to her, and for five minutes, we just went back and forth of how much in awe we wore of how much that she's changed. She didn't realize then where she was, but now she's like, wow, like I didn't think I was making any progress, but looking at that photo and comparing it to photos that she's taken recently, it's literally night and day. Now, the second thing that we need to look at is how are your clothes fitting? I know when I drop fat that my shorts and my shirts, they're not super tight on me, right? So when you go through the same thing, you might have a pair of jeans or you might have a dress or a blouse or whatever it is, a bra, maybe some tights that when you put them on, they just don't fit right. They're a little tight and you got them hiked up way too high. But as you start to make changes internally, again, maybe not on the scale, those tights, those jeans, that blouse, that shirt, all get on nice. In fact, it actually might be a little bit too big on you. The third thing is, what about knowledge? What about the knowledge that you gain by being in a belly burn, by developing eating plan systems for yourself that work for you, and even if you aren't perfect, at least you took one step. Like I'm right now working with my kid to be able to get him to ride on his own. And when he started on the bike on two wheels, he literally was able to go afoot without going nuts. Now, do you think that we should stop right there because he wasn't able to ride the bike? Or do you think that I should try again and see if he can go an inch further? Now, every time that you try something and every time that you put yourself in a position that you're uncomfortable and you continue to work through it, you might not see the results right away, but you continuously do that and make small adjustments. Eventually, you're gonna have the knowledge that the knowledge is just gonna be second nature for you. So when it comes to overeating and stuffing yourself like you used to, maybe there's a time where you're just like, you know what, I'm actually feeling good, I'm fed. Or there's times where you're like, you know what, I don't eat an ice cream today. And that knowledge that you're gonna gain is gonna move with you moving forward for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and it's gonna reflect on you when you look back and you're like, you know what, all these small little smart choices that I made earlier on all added up to where I'm at today. And you're gonna thank your younger self. We also gotta reflect on money because a lot of times, like especially our family, when we're not in a belly burn, we'll eat out one to two times a week. And we aren't big eaters and our kids are still small, but still that bills anywhere from 60 to $80 per outing. So let's say that's a hundred bucks a week because you know we'll go get an ice cream, we'll you know, go out for one big dinner, like that all adds up to about a hundred bucks. So if we don't eat out even just once a week, we just limit our family down to twice a month, right? But we keep the same budget. So we go from spending $400 a month down to two. That literally, you can pay for anything, right? Like most things are in and around 200 bucks these days that are higher ticket that are gonna help improve your life. So just by cutting out, eating out once a week and sticking to the same budget that you would on that weekly, you've just gained back 200 bucks. And last but not least is that if we don't use it, we lose it, okay? So muscle is something that you wanna continue to maintain as you get older. You think about, yes, you can go to the gym and you're getting stronger, right? Like that's a measurable thing. It's like, I remember when I started, I was doing fives, right? I remember clients just bench pressing five pounders and now they're benching fifties, which is crazy because that's such a huge number. Now, you might not be reflecting on how much stronger you're getting because you know you just kind of go through the workouts, which is fine. But you take that into your daily life, right? So like even for myself, and I'm in that phase of my kids are getting older, I'm able to go behind the kid with the bike, holding the seat, stabilizing him, running with my knees bent for 
30 minutes at a time right now for you maybe your kids are a little bit older and so now it's a matter of taking care of yourself so the capability of caring one load of groceries like that is huge being able to move that lawnmower right like the lawnmower is not an easy thing but your core is so strong your stability is there you've built up the strength from coming to the gym there's so much doors that you've opened by just being consistent in your fitness journey so remember it's not always about the scale there's more than one way to determine if you're being successful and in today's video i hope that you've learned that there's multiple ways that you can be looking at yourself and feeling proud of what you've accomplished. Now, if you're looking to stack up wins and you're looking to ways to look at in photos, have your clothes fit better, learn something new, save some money and gain strength, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn and we'll get you started today.